The deputy director of the U.S. Marshal Service in North Texas met with law enforcement and community leaders today. They want to work together to drive down violent crime. What is happening in our region could become a model for other parts of the country. Fox 4's Sean Rabb was at that meeting today. It was a meeting to talk about collaboration, how local and state authorities work with the federal agents, the U.S. Marshals, to track down the most violent offenders and how crime is being reduced in North Texas, but also how the community is part of that. Violent crime reduction is a collaboration. As you can These are the collaborators, police, sheriffs, and state who work shoulder to shoulder with the United States Marshal Service through the Violent Crime Task Force. Comprised of over 20 agencies who are dedicated to taking thousands of violent offenders out of our communities who have warrants outstanding against them to keep our communities safer and to prevent violent crime from escalating. Law enforcement meeting with the deputy director of the U.S. Marshal Service, Mark Patella, sharing strategies like evidence-based policing, how to deal with illegal drugs, and the gun violence that comes with that risky business. I think the main takeaway, Sean, is that um, crime in North Texas is down, and it continues to be driven down by hard work and tenacious cops. And uh, I, I, in my humble opinion, that's something that could be uh, emulated across the country. Local and federal law enforcement knows there must be buy-in from the people they protect and serve for positive outcomes. It's not only from the law enforcement entities, though, it's also from the community. And building that trust with the community and transparency with the community is definitely paramount in the violent crime reduction. We've done that today. We've had some great dialogue with our community leaders, with our civic leaders. Like Pastor Michael Evans, who lost a former member of his congregation, Lindsay Vignair, at Mansfield's Bethlehem Baptist Church to gun violence at a Juneteenth celebration in Round Rock last weekend. One of the things that is so very important are the ongoing relationships that we have in the community, that we have with law enforcement. Uh, we talk about community policing and how uh, important that is engaging uh, with people uh, during the good times as well as the bad. Not just to reduce violent crime, but where possible, prevent it. We have to get uncomfortable and get in the communities to build relationships to keep that young boy and girl on a good path. The bottom line, partnerships. Partnerships to attack crime, to address crime, but also partnerships where people and law enforcement better work together. Sean Rabb, Fox 4 News.